Here's a step-by-step -step guide to fixing the issue where your Wi-Fi is connected, but there is no internet access. 1. Restart your device. Sometimes the issue might be on your device itself. Restart your phone, computer, or any other device that is not getting internet. 1. Restart your router and modem. Turn off both the router and modem by unplugging the power cables. Wait for about 30 seconds before plugging them back in. Wait for the router and modem to fully boot up. This can take a couple of minutes. After this, check if the internet is working. 1. Check the Wi-Fi network connection. On your device, disconnect from the Wi-Fi network and then reconnect. This can sometimes refresh the connection. Forget the network. Go to your device's Wi-Fi settings, choose the network, and select Forget. Then, reconnect by entering the password again. 1. Check other devices. See if the issue is specific to one device or affecting all devices on the network. If other devices can access the internet, the problem is likely with the specific device. If all devices are affected, the issue might be with the router or ISP. 1. Check your internet service provider. Check if there's an outage in your area by calling your ISP or visiting their website. If the issue is widespread, you will need to wait until the ISP resolves it. 1. Check your router settings login to your router. Type the router's IP address in your browser, usually something like 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1. Enter your router's admin username and password. Default ones are usually found on the router label unless you change them. Check the WAN connection status. Ensure that your router is properly connected to the internet. If it shows disconnected or error, it might be an issue with your modem or ISP. Check if DHCP is enabled. If it's off, your router won't assign IP addresses to your devices. Check your DNS settings. Sometimes DNS issues can cause this problem. Set DNS to automatic or use public DNS servers like Google's 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. 1. Check IP address settings. On your device, check if you are getting a valid IP address. Go to Network Settings and find the IP address section. If the IP address starts with 169, for example 169.254xx, it means the device cannot obtain an IP from the router. Set to Automatic. Ensure your device is set to obtain an IP address automatically, DHCP enabled. 1. Disable security software, temporarily disable firewall or antivirus software on your device. Sometimes these can block internet access even if you're connected to Wi-Fi. After testing, you can re-enable your firewall and antivirus. 1. Flush DNS cache on Windows. Open the command prompt, press Windows key plus R, type CMD and hit enter. Type the following command, ipconfig slash flush DNS press enter. This will clear any cache DNS entries that may be causing the issue. On Mac, open terminal. Type sudo kill all, chup mdns responder press enter, then provide your administrator password if prompted. 1. Update network drivers or firmware update network drivers. On your computer, ensure your network adapter drivers are up to date. You can do this through the device manager on Windows or system preferences on Mac. Update router firmware. Check your router's firmware version and update it if necessary. You can do this by logging into the router's admin page and looking for a firmware update section. 1. Check for IP address conflicts. Ensure no other device on the network is using the same IP address. If needed, assign static IP addresses to your devices in your router's settings to avoid conflicts. 1. Reset your router factory. Reset your router if none of the above steps work. This will restore the router to its original settings. To do this, Hold down the reset button on your router for 10, 15 seconds. Be aware that this will erase all custom settings like Wi-Fi password, name, etc. 1. Check for overload. If too many devices are connected to the router, it can overload the network and cause problems. Try disconnecting some devices to see if the internet starts working again. 1. Contact your ISP for support. If you've tried all the steps and still have no internet, it could be an issue with your ISP's equipment or network. Contact your ISP and report the problem for further assistance. By following these steps, you should be able to fix the issue of being connected to Wi-Fi but not having internet access.